Sean and his little twin girls. Our next guest is incredibly successful. He's a musician, a designer, a producer, a businessman. He has his own vodka. Please welcome my friend, Sean Combs. <laughs> I saw you last at, uh, what's the matter? What happened? You know, when I, um, what? when I take off my shades, I have to make a sound effect. It's oh, a really? Very, it's, a, it's a very dramatic Is moment Is it always the same sound effect? We could have done that for you. We, we can have all kinds of sound effects for you. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I saw you at uh, Elton John's uh, Oscar party. Yes, yes. And uh, you're a popular man. Lots of people want to talk to you. Yeah. Lots of people want to get a little piece of you. I'm like you. I'm yeah. like you. Well, yeah, we are. Alike. Yeah, we're alike. We're a lot alike. Yeah. In what ways? Um, <laughs> ironically, we, um, we are very driven, very ambitious. Yes. Um, very soulful. Yes. You can dance mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, same style of dress. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, um, they, uh, similar style of women. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of driven, let's talk about how how cool that is that you're getting a star on the Walk of Fame. Oh on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh my God. Oh. It, it's mind blowing to me. Um, um, when, they, when they called me up and they said, um, you, you've just been nominated for a star in Hollywood, then they called and said that, you know, they're giving you your own star in Hollywood. I'm from Harlem, New York. That's like 3,000 miles away. And, and you know, when New Yorkers come to L.A., we, we go straight to Hollywood Boulevard to see, like, Marilyn Monroe and find all the stars. And I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that, you know, they would ever be giving me my star. So I was so humbled and, and blessed and, you know, driven to tears and calling my mother, calling everybody just like, because I knew I was the first person on my block with a Hollywood yeah. star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're, you're close to your mother, like I am with yes. mine. And did she have an opinion on uh, what name you'd put on the star? Is it oh, Diddy she... or Puffy or Daddy yeah. or? Uh... Yeah, my, my, mo my mother is very strong-willed, and um, um, I still get beatings, but that's a. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll talk about that later. All right. Um, um, but my mother, you know, if, if things are, she feels things aren't in the right direction, she'll stop by the office and have a conversation with me. So she heard about the whole star thing, and um, I think she heard that I was thinking about putting P. Diddy on there. And so um, the name that's going to be on my star is Sean Diddy Combs, because my mother really wouldn't have it any other way. She was like, you know, you brought into this world as Sean Combs, and, you know, when your kids and everybody walk around and, and, they, and they're going to see it in the next generations, you have to make sure that that name goes on there. I'm not having it. So um, I agreed with her. And so it's Sean Diddy Combs on the walk. Diddy's not your middle name. Yeah, I mean, I, I had to get away with something. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I love about you. I don't know how many people saw the documentary. The reason I called them, there was, on MTV, there was a documentary called If I Were King. And it's about Sean putting together his clothing line for a fashion show that was the most brilliant documentary. Yes. And I was so impressed by you. I think a lot of people think, uh, that you have a clothing line that you don't get involved with. He is, he is involved with, like, the stitching, the, in, the exact, every detail of the clothing you're involved with. Yeah. I, the, you're incredible. You're so Thank talented you. in so much. many different ways. And now you're acting, yes. you're singing, you're producing. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just, um, 
I'm, I'm blessed to be in the position that I'm in, and I love fashion. And also, th that documentary, I just did a deal with Ian Style, and if you missed it, it's going to be on the Ian Style Networks, and it really shows you the behind the scenes of how crazy the fashion industry is. And, you know, I come from, you know, where I come from in New York and Harlem, we're, we're like hustlers, so we already have like five, six jobs. So I had five, six names and five, six jobs, and I was just used to that. That's the yeah. way I was brought up. And I, I love music, I love fashion. Um, and right now I'm out here pursuing my acting career and it's, it's something, this is what I love to do. And I'm truly blessed to be doing what I love to do. But how many hours a, a, a night do you sleep? Now, now that's a problem. You don't sleep? Yeah, yeah. I, I sleep only like four hours a night. Yeah, because yeah. you can't possibly do all that you're doing without <laughs> staying up that, that amount of, like, yeah. like you, are you an early riser? No, once I go to sleep, I, then, then I probably rise like around 10 o'clock. 10? Yes. Okay. So you go to sleep at around five? Fives, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I cannot hang out with you. <laughs> That's a shame. You, you right. used to be able to hang out with I me? I know, yeah. but I can't now. No, old. okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's why you have to join my daytime show, because uh, then I go to sleep after this. All right, we're going um, to talk about your adorable twins, yes, and yes. Uh, I am going to test you to see if you know your own vodka. We're going to make you drink vodka until you know which one is yours. The rock vodka in the house. Yeah.